Hi, I'm Siddharth Gupta. I work on the open source Tizen project at Samsung Electronics. Today, we're going to learn about the latest improvements to help you create better Tizen applications and be more productive with Visual Studio tools for Tizen. In the first preview of Visual Studio Tools for Tizen, we began to leverage the power of C Sharp and Xamarin Forms to create applications for the Tizen OS, which runs on smartphones, smart TVs, smartwatches, IoT devices, and many more types of devices. Upon downloading that preview, you were able to get started with creating applications in Visual Studio, and were also able to run them on an emulator. Since then, we have done a whole lot of work, and I'm excited to show you what we've been working on. First, I'm going to explain our latest API improvements and enhancements. Next, I'll show you our new TV emulator and how easy it is to build TV applications. Lastly, I'll talk about some more improvements we have made to enhance the Tizen application development experience for you on Visual Studio Tools for Tizen. Okay. So we've been working hard to improve and enhance our APIs to enable you to create the best applications for your users. Firstly, we have worked hard to improve our coverage of the Xamarin Forms APIs. And then furthermore, we now have Xamarin Forms Tizen extensions. What are these? These fall into two categories. First, from now onwards, you can download and use new controls such as radio buttons, background, and many more predefined custom cells which are defined in a rich set of Tizen UI components. And second, you can bring Tizen platform specific functionality to Xamarin Forms applications. For example, on Tizen, you can modify the style of a Xamarin Forms button or change the blend color of an, of an image. You will be able to add this platform specific functionality after changes to support these are merged into the Xamarin Forms core. We have also added many more Tizen platform specific APIs. This means that now you can use the dependency service from Xamarin Forms to access Tizen device features such as speech to text, IoT connectivity, and audio recording in your applications. But you know what? The best way to understand these changes and what they enable you to do is to dive into some code. So let's do that. So here in my mobile emulator, I have a clock application with alarm, world clock, stopwatch, and timer features. And if I were to add an alarm, I can see that I can choose the type of alarm I want to use. And so should it have sound, vibration, or both vibration and sound. Now if I select sound, I would expect the other two to be unchecked, which is what happens. Or vibration and sound and the other two should be unchecked. My alarm should only be able to have one of these options. And to meet this special requirement, we're actually using a Xamarin Forms Tizen radio button extension API. And this is the code for that. So I'm using this new radio button control. And if I look into it, I can see that it's part of the Tizen Xamarin Forms extension namespace. And this control, it inherits from a Xamarin Forms view, and it has this group name property. The consequence of this group name property is that only one radio button in a group can be selected at a time. Selecting one will make all the other ones unchecked. So let's go back to the application and see how it's actually being used. So I have a new radio button here and then simply I just add all my radio buttons to a group name called alarm type. You don't need to create any custom renderer, you can just use this control. And because it's part of the extension namespace, I've had to add that at the top here using Tizen Xamarin Forms extension. And to support this in clock.tizen.cs in my main function, here I've got Tizen Forms extension dot init. And this is part of another namespace. So I'm going to support that by adding using Tizen Xamarin Forms extension renderer at the top over here. So this is how you can use the radio button Xamarin Forms Tizen Extension API, and you can use our other Xamarin Forms Tizen Extension APIs in a similar manner. At Microsoft's Connect 2016 conference, when we released Preview 1 of Visual Studio Tools for Tizen, we showed an application running on a smart TV. 
This excited many of you and many of our fellow developers and friends got in touch with us and asked when they can start developing for TV. Therefore, I'm really pleased to share that you can now build TV applications using the latest preview of Visual Studio tools for Tizen. And you already have the C-Sharp and Xamarin Forms knowledge to do this, so let's take a look at this. Okay, so let's start with taking a look at what happens when you create a new Tizen project with the latest preview version installed. As we can use Xamarin Forms to create Tizen applications, we can create a blank Xamarin Forms portable application. If we do this, the Tizen project wizard will, will open. And here you can configure your package name and choose which profiles you'd want to make for. As you can see, we now have the option to make for TV. I had already done this in advance because I've been making an application uh, for TV. This is a gallery application. And now you can see in the Solution Explorer, there is the Portable Class Library project, we have a Tizen Mobile project, and we have a Tizen TV project, which is new in this, in this latest preview. And if we look at what it's referring to, we can see it's referring to this gallery DLL, which actually happens to be the Portable Class Library. And we can build this and run it on a Tizen TV emulator. I've already done this, and here it is. And I, because it's a TV, I can use the remote and I can operate. So this is my gallery and I can keep going next and try different pictures. I actually like that dog picture, so let me go back to that one. So I've highlighted that and I can select the image and here it is. And I can play a slideshow. We've been closely listening to your feedback and opinions and have been working hard to improve the experience for you and your users. For example, to improve performance, we are pre-compiling some of the system DLLs to make applications launch faster. And now, if you are a Xamarin Forms developer and already have a Xamarin Forms solution, you can now add a Tizen project to that solution. So for example, an added Tizen project can link with existing portable code and you immediately have a Tizen application. We have also improved the emulator's performance and added a, an emulator manager to Visual Studio tools for Tizen. This will enable you to configure the emulator for your requirements, perhaps how, perhaps how much RAM you want to use. There is also an initial preview version of our Tizen manifest editor where you can configure your application. We have also added a certificate manager so you can create or import author certificates. Now let's add a Tizen project to an existing Xamarin Forms solution and see some more other new features in Visual Studio Tools for Tizen. So here is Box View Clock. This is a Xamarin Forms sample application on the Xamarin website. I really like the sample application and I've downloaded it onto Visual Studio. Here it is. As you can see, there's one portable code project and multiple projects for other platforms. And I would really like to run this on Tizen devices as well. So I can add a Tizen project to this solution. Let me call it Tizen Box Clock. Okay. And I just want it for my mobile. Okay. And it's going to create that. Let's look at what just happened. So it's detected that there's already a portable class library project in the solution, and it's just added a Tizen project here. Now if I look at what it's referring to, it's referring to the portable class library. Great, so now I can just build this. So I can see that uh, the build has been successful over here. And it's pulled the correct references as well. So let me fire up my emulator. OK. And I can install it on there.
And here it is, box view clock running on a Tizen device. So we had an existing Xamarin form solution and we've added a Tizen project to it and now we have a Tizen application. Earlier I also mentioned some new features that we have added in Visual Studio, so let's take a look at some of those. Under the Tizen menu, you will see that we have an emulator manager, SDB, command prompt, and a certificate manager. So here, for example, in the emulator manager, you can, you can create a new uh, emulator. So for example, if I want to create a mobile device, I can choose the kind of mobile device I want and I can specify some of its characteristics. Or alternatively, we have an introductory version of our manifest editor. So here, you can modify some of the app's properties. So I want to be the author of this. So I'm going to put my name here. And um, how about Tizen.org? And similarly, you can try our certificate manager and full instructions on how to use this and emulator manager are available on our preview website. All right, we've seen some improvements which will help you be more productive and have a more pleasant experience with Visual Studio tools for Tizen. And we're really excited to see what you create. All you have to do is now head to the Tizen developer website and get started. Lastly, we will keep updating and releasing new versions of Visual Studio tools for Tizen. We want to provide the best experience for you, and to do this, your continuous thoughts and opinions have been invaluable so far, and we look forward to hearing more from you. Thank you so much for watching.